All right, guys, so I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but I'm actually doing a get ready with me today. We're actually going to be getting ready to go to Julius and Destiny's a wedding. Um, it's like their dinner ceremony. So I know it's a little bit more intimate, more private. So I'm getting my hair done today and I'm really excited because it's been a while. And I finally get to style my hair with black hair for this hairstyle. It's actually Bella Hadid inspired, but I'm going to film like the whole process of me getting my hair done. And then I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup and how I'm going to be putting like my outfit together. So I know this is a very highly requested video. I'll give you guys like the mini tutorial of like how I do my makeup and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just finished getting my hair done. I went for this Bella Hadid inspired look, and I'll put like the little picture that I got inspired by. Originally, these bangs were like supposed to low key be like in your face, but I feel like it's just gonna be bothering me the whole time, so I kind of just swooped it. She did such a great job, and you can kind of see it like better like this. That's how it looks like. Just a cute little Y2K moment. And I think it'll go well with my dress that I'm wearing. So I'm just gonna like swoop it so my hair's out of the way when I'm doing my makeup. Just these little pins or whatever. And then we're gonna get started. So first things first is we're gonna wash our beauty blenders because these are mad dirty. I'm gonna wash them real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, so before we get into this video, I wanna give a big shout out to JBW Watches for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited to be working with them because I've been obsessed with their pieces. I'm actually wearing one right now. This is the Mondrian 34. It has 16 genuine diamonds and 180 Swarovski crystals. And we all know that the holiday season's right around the corner. And for me personally, the holiday season's all about quality time, spending quality time with your friends and family, giving time for yourself, owning time, and just being in the moment. And what other to show your appreciation towards your loved ones and your friends than by gifting them the gift of time. And I feel like that's such a pretty meaning. Honestly, a watch like this would be super, super timeless, super classic. It's also an investment as well, which I really like. I also have another one right here. This is actually the Cristel 34. And I'm obsessed with it. It has the gold and the silver and it has stones in the middle as well, along with the sides as well. Super timeless. I'm obsessed. Who doesn't like a nice watch? That's like such a perfect gift for anybody. It could honestly be your mom, your friends, whoever. It could be anyone. I feel like it'll be like such a perfect gift. For me personally, my love language is quality time. That's actually Cayman's love language as well. So that we share that in comments. He's been eyeing my watch and I'm going to be definitely gifting him one as well for Christmas. I know for a lot of people, their love language is quality time as well. So I feel like that would be the perfect gift. So if you guys don't know what to give someone, I feel like this watch would be such such a pretty meaningful gift and it's super luxurious too it comes in this really pretty box which i love so yeah guys don't forget to use my code 25 carla and i'll leave all the links down below so you guys can go check them out and we'll get back into the video beauty blender is all cleaned up i usually try to do two just because sometimes i have served different purposes but i haven't done a tutorial in a long time so please don't don't come for me if I don't know the actual terms of like your face and shit. Like I'm not a makeup artist, I'll tell you that. So this is just how I do my makeup. And since it is kind of in the holiday spirit, um, I am going to kind of obviously a wedding, but obviously you can still wear this makeup, you know, to your holiday parties, to Christmas, New Year's. And I feel like this hairstyle, I know I got it done, but I feel like it could be doable if like you try to do it. Obviously it might not come out exactly like this, but definitely like a half up, half down, just like pinning it and stuff like that with the two little bangs, I feel like. I feel like it's pretty doable. So yeah, if you actually try it, like I feel like it will come out pretty good. But let's get started. I just got my lashes done, so that is gonna help out. And I, usually before I start doing my makeup, I always put chapstick on. I always use the little Vaseline ones. They're like so cute. How cute is this? Kevin definitely put me on before I used Carmax and that 
I will low key burn my lips, but that was the only thing that worked for me except this. This actually works for me. I don't have a traditional vanity with the little lights anymore. So now most of the time I just use like my natural lighting or I just like use the, the lighting in my room. And this has like a little light in here that I use if I'm getting ready at nighttime. That's just how I get ready. I'm gonna start off with my brows. I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this is in the shade medium brown. But yeah, I actually just got my brows threaded yesterday. So thank God. I feel like I need a wipey. I feel like my face is kind of oily. I have moisturizer on, but it's been a while since I cleaned my face. So I'm just gonna clean it before I start. I feel like I get really either super dry skin or oily skin. Okay, and I always just use either a really small mirror in front of me or I go really up close to my face. So for this, I usually go really close up to my face and we're just gonna brush. Now, I sometimes do the brow freeze and I'm debating whether I should do it this time or not, but I think I might actually. So this is a little brow. It's called, uh, yeah, Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna use some of it. It looks like this, it's like kind of cool though. So we're just gonna apply it. I just kind of go upwards. Obviously you can get your brows laminated, but I've been not getting my brows laminated lately. So I've just been using this if I do want that look. It kind of gives you the effect of a mini facelift. That's what it reminds you of. But like, just look at the difference. This is normal, this is with it. Do you see what I mean? Kind of gives you like a bit of a pull and it just, your brows just look thicker obviously too. And there's no like perfect way to do it. You just brush up. I put a little bit extra more on the tail just to really have that. Like that. That's how it looks like. It already honestly looks thick. And then we're gonna go in with this brow thing. And I just start at the bottom like this. And I just flick it up right where I'm basically pelona. And I don't fill it a lot, a lot, because my brows already are pretty thick. So I just kind of do like the spots where I feel like a little bit is missing. That's what I'll do. And then right here, I usually extend it. Now the line underneath doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're gonna conceal it anyways. It's crazy because I never do tutorials, so I'm so not used to this. And usually I just be jamming in here. When I get ready, my playlist that I always play is The Neighborhood. It's like this band that I recently discovered through a friend. And I was like, wait, I've heard these songs before. These are really cool. It's like a chill vibe, but still a good vibe. So now that we're done filling it in, I don't, like I said, I don't fill them all the way in because then if I fill in every single crack of my brows, it'll just look like two in my face. So I've always had super thick brows. Always get memes of my brows. When I was living in Pennsylvania, like a lot of people would meme my brows because they were so thick. It was that time when everybody wanted really super fucking thick brows. I bet the people that were making memes of my brows before didn't have brows. We're gonna go in with a pretty bright concealer. This is a Laura Marcier one and it's like super light. It's in the shade 1C. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty bright. So we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna conceal it. Just even it out because obviously it wasn't perfect. I kind of extend it like this. Conceal it and then I'll go like this. Does that make sense? I stretch it all out and I kind of cut off a little bit of what we kind of shaded in. I 
and I like I said I extend it all the way like this but I extend it like this just to give my brows that look that I want this one didn't come out as good as this one but can you see how it is this one came out actually perfect one of my brows is shorter than the other one so that's why also i don't really conceal it at the top because i have that fluffy brow effect so i don't even touch them unless you're doing regular brows and yeah of course you can do it but now we're gonna go in with a foundation and i actually use the georgia armani luminous silk two shades so i use a 6.25 and the 6.5 so i usually just mix these honestly i've been using these like foundations for the past like who knows year or two now it's like a really light but it still gives me with the coverage that i need usually if i have a pimple or anything like that i'll go in with a concealer before i put on foundation so like all these like little dark spots i'll just go in and just like cover it up for a little bit because you know you don't it's not super full coverage but it is buildable it's a buildable foundation but i'll just conceal before i put on foundation so i'll just like three pumps and maybe like two pumps of the 6.5 so i just mix it i'm really excited because obviously it's joseph and destiny's ceremony slash dinner and obviously we get to see baby koa honestly we haven't really officially met baby koa basically this will be our really like first time really meeting baby koa so i'm really excited we're probably gonna get baby fever we're probably gonna come home and we're like mm, should we make one you know what i mean i'm probably gonna be like psych <laughs> that was just for like 6.5 seconds sometimes i'll do my ears Especially if I have an updo, you don't want to look crazy. I have like hella like hair gel sprayer and like gospel right there. Hate that for me. Yeah, so we're gonna do a couple more pumps, maybe like two more. I always put foundation on my hand and then I'll transfer it. I don't know why. It's basically to warm up the foundation. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I love this foundation. It's so nice it's not super full coverage but like i said you can build it up if you want to sometimes i don't like putting too too much foundation just because i don't like to feel super cakey especially because i get super duper oily that's usually where i'll go in the most my cheek area because that's where i have my um acne scars i really need some like help with like my acne scars like Honestly, if I didn't have acne, like my acne scars, I would feel so much more comfortable. I mean, I feel comfortable regardless, but like, I just feel like I would be like happier with my skin if I just didn't have my acne scars. And I've tried a lot of things and they don't necessarily work. So if you guys have any recommendations on acne scar stuff, let me know, let me know, let me know. We're gonna go in with the concealer. I'm gonna use my favorite concealer of all time. And that is the NARS Concealer in Custard. I really like this concealer. It just does it for me, for sure. Gives me the coverage I need. It's just honestly such a good concealer. I was on the train of like Tarte Shape Tape for a while, like for years. I was like, wait, this? It's so nice. It's not super heavy. It gives you the coverage that you need. I don't know, I just love this concealer. And then I just conceal in these areas usually. And then with my concealer, I usually go up like this. Do you see that? Like this around my nose. I'll kind of conceal that area too. And then right in the middle here. And then I'll just go down the bridge of my nose and then I do like a little dot almost. Go like this. And I'll connect it all the way to like the edge of my lips and I'll go like this. Basically just to contour my cheekbones. Sometimes obviously I don't do it, I just use powder. It just helps that with the concealer is just like really stays on your skin that is the concealer this is what i do this is the sections where i put them on and then we're gonna go in with this honest of beverly hills this is the espresso stick foundation but i use it as a contour stick i love this thing i literally have had this for like i'm not gonna lie it's probably not good that i've had this for years but i've had the same stick for years 
but I'll go like this. That forehead. And then we'll go in right here. Boom. Boom. And then we'll do like a little V almost at the bottom. And then I just do like a little swoop like that. Now that that's done, we have, it's a Kylie stick. It's like a blush stick. Um, I really like it. This is the color better half. It's like this super duper pink. I love a super pink blush. So I go in like this. And another one that I really, really like is the Fenty Beauty one. They have like a super pink one too. Sometimes I'll use that one as well, but this one's just like an easier application because it already comes in the stick. And we'll just go like that. And basically this is how I look. Like a clown. Once we blend it in, we're gonna be good. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and start blending, blending, blending. A lot of blending goes on, so yeah. And I start with like the bottom of my eyes and I always go up with my concealer just so that you have that nice lifting effect on your eyes. Just have a more snatched look to your face. Makeup comes a long way when it comes to like having your face look really snatched. As you can see, like it goes up like this. There's a, like a bit of a harsh line, but it's okay. We're gonna blend it and I'm gonna show you how I basically do it. With this like beauty blender, I usually can um, go into like my concealer part because you don't want to mix your beauty blenders too much because then obviously like you don't want to mix the colors too much but you can i've done it before and it's not too bad this is the beauty blender i usually just use separately from my contour started to already look good and i always leave my nose for the very end because it's just more tedious and you might need a smaller beauty blender so now i'll use another beauty blender and i'll go in with my contour areas and just blend 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 and you kind of go upward in a bit, like that's how I just do it. I go upward like this almost, like on an upward position. And it just like really lifts up your cheeks. And like I said, you have to go upward with everything you do. Go upward, don't go straight like this because that's where your face is gonna look like flat and not so lifted. So that's why I go up with my concealer, I go up with my contour stick, and even I go up with my blush. Almost all like your contour and your blush go up to your ear and then obviously your concealer go up to your like your temple. So that's how I just kind of do it. And this obviously you go upwards again. You go upwards onto the your hairline. There you go. See, I'm not really good with terms and like sometimes I think about the Spanish term of it and this is where my English and my Spanish just get mixed up. I'm like, wait, you say like this in Spanish but not in English. How do you say it in English? I don't know if I'm the only one that has that problem. This you just have to be like a little bit patient with it because obviously it's your nose, the smaller area of your face. And you want it to look smaller, obviously. And when you're contouring your like nose area, you always want to look up like have your mirror and look up and even if you have to do it separately from just like looking at your vanity do it i'm telling you it's gonna make your nose look straighter especially because you're looking upward onto your nose and not like this contour 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 now we're gonna go with my concealer beauty blender go down the middle the little dot needs to come back you see it it's like a little dot then i go back and forth back and forth back and forth right where the contour was. You just wanna make sure it blends nicely on the sides. You wanna go one more time on the sides, right here. Now that we're kind of basically done blending our contour and our concealer, I go in with this, a different concealer that's a lot lighter. And this is the KKW concealer in the number four. It almost has like a pinkish tint. I like using a, a pinkish undertone. <clears throat> Who is at my door? Come on. Jesus Christ. People want me to have kids, I can't imagine. Mommy, mommy, mommy. That's how you, you sound like at the door. So anyways, like I said, you wanna go in with a lighter concealer. I usually like a pink undertone. 
If you like a yellow undertone, I would go probably for a yellow undertone or you can just use whatever tone you want. I just like a pink undertone on my skin. So yeah, this is the KKW number four. I'm gonna see if I have any left, but this is basically like kind of the same shade. But the formulas together go really, really hand in hand with the NARS one. So that's why I always use it together. The funny thing is like, I think she's just stopped. She's rebranding KKW, so I can't even get this freaking concealer anymore until I guess she comes out with it again. I'll go in the areas of right here boom like this and this is to really brighten up my eyes you have to think once you go in with the contour and the concealer yes it'll stay but this will really really highlight it and that's why i go in a second time with a different shade just so that it really pops i like a really bright under eye so this is why I do this so much. This concealer is so nice. It's really light. It goes really well with the NARS one just because the NARS one's a little bit heavier than this one. But I love this color. Go like that. See, I'm barely like, have any. And then I'm gonna go again, upwards, my eyes, upwards again, like this. Do you see how it looks like? I'm just gonna go upwards again all the way to the temple. I know it looks crazy right now, but um, trust me. And then I always put a little bit on my chin and on my forehead. I'm really running out of this. <sighs> and then I just put a little bit right the bridge of my nose. And again, the little dot. Don't go all the way down. I just go right here and I stop there. So this is how it is with the concealer. And like I said, you can use any concealer, but just make it a lighter one. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be a life changer. This one, I try to be more precise with the concealer and like not going super crazy with my beauty blender. It's so much brighter now. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now my forehead. Now for sure, for sure, I'm gonna have to use a different beauty blender. And I have this like mini little beauty blender. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. It works and I don't even remember where I got these. I think I got them at Target actually They sold them in like a little pack and they were like different sizes and I'm pretty sure I got these at Target They just come in really good hand like I love them. This is so convenient and then they're like super big so This is how I go back and forth like if I feel like I need more contour I just go back with my other beauty blender and put it where in the areas that I feel like need it obviously has like leftover product in it so you can go in and like not be super harsh with it you can there we go now that that is done we are going in with our powder i feel like such a youtuber talking like this i can't believe i don't do this so often this is the powder that i use it's the huda beauty setting powder and this is in the shade cupcake like i said i like a pink undertone so that's why and i also like her other shade it's like a really white like super like almost like this color this is what i'm gonna use on my face and this is i'll show you guys what i do with this next this is the powder i use all over my face to basically set everything in and this i just kind of set and again i go upward and i put a little bit obviously like on my nose area like this and then i go onto the under eye area and i go up Okay, so now that that is concealed, we'll go into the other areas of my face, my forehead. And there's places where I let the powder sit. So like in this area, I'm gonna set it, but like this, we're just gonna press it into the skin. And this is just like where my contour was. But usually where my highlighted sections were with the concealer is, I just kind of let it sit there to really brighten up the area. But like I said, these areas, I'll just sit. This area, I'll also let sit because we had concealer there. And then we'll press it onto the, this area. I'm gonna put actually some powder on my eyes. It's kind of hard sometimes to do eyeshadow with eyelash extensions, but one thing about it, it is easier to do your makeup. Now that we are on powdered up, I kind of let it sit there and then I go in with my eyeshadow now. My go to eyeshadow is or palette i mean is the mario 
palette and this is a master mattes by mario makeup kim kardashian's makeup artist he also has this other one where shiny ones but i think today i may or may not use some shininess i don't know but since it is the holiday season i think shininess i mean you can always just add some shine and it'll like be perfect especially because it's new year's and christmas you want to be holiday ready basically but first i'm gonna go in with my, my mattes and then if i do decide to do some shine i'll add it afterwards but it just depends on how much i like it with the mattes only so first things first we're gonna go in with our transition color look how messy this is this is a mess but this is how you know i use this a lot i don't know which one is which but i'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like i use it every time i do my makeup as my transition color so this is the trick to how i usually get my eyes to look the way they look i go with that transition color it's almost like you're gonna be contouring your eyes i'm gonna go like this and i'm gonna wing it out like this now i know it looks crazy because you kind of always want to go to the middle of your eye like this is my eye the end of my eye you want to go like up here and the concealer is also here so it's kind of like your guide as well but as you can see this color is not a super dark brown kind of looks like the a shadow basically you're kind of using it as a shadow and you want to blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it you kind of almost want to wisp it like this with the extraness that you have like the extra shadow you have in your brush and go like this normal boom it already gives you like a little mini lift same thing you want to blend it upwards I do go into this area. I don't know if it helps, but sometimes I pull up this area just to really get in there. This is always my transition color, no matter what I do with my eyes. And it's not like a super harsh brown, so it's perfect. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. And this is just like a little brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Not sure what it's called but it's that one and this one same thing obviously it's a darker shade so you don't want to go crazy like the other one but this one i kind of just keep it in this area I'm gonna go like, like this. i go like over like this this one i'll go all the way in like all the way in to like my eye like this you want to blend i usually go from the bottom like almost like if i were doing my eyeliner and i go like up but not super all the way up to like the other one because that one's obviously lighter almost make like a v but now there's not that much product on my brush so it's not super harsh so i can still do that same situation now that there's not that much product okay but do you see how like it's almost like a contour to your eye those shades the holy grail and you also just need to practice too like it took a lot of me practicing and just like perfecting how i like my eyes to look like to get to like where i'm at and obviously like finding the perfect shades for me like i said you can create like a v almost a little v and then go over and then with the excess of whatever you have you can go upward more if you wanted to you just want them to kind of look obviously even too i'm telling you it just makes such a big difference and i sometimes go like this i look straight and i try to make it go like this boom 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 and i know it looks crazy because i'm going like but i'm telling you it's a life changer i might do some sparkle i might just do some sparkle uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Wait, should I? First, I'm gonna see how it looks like with my usual nude. This is such still a good glammy, obviously, eye. This is definitely not an everyday eye and face, so. I'm gonna go in with this almost like a pinkish nude, and I blend these two. And I just use a flat brush. I mean, you can conceal it as well, but honestly, these colors, they act like a concealer already, so you don't even have to. And if you don't want like a harsher line, this is like more of a softer transition if you don't use concealer. But this is just like on my eyelids. And I pull in the shade that I just used into like this section of my eye because I do have some dark shadow up here. It just makes it get like a really pretty, makes it look really pretty. Like into the temple. I mean, what the f is this called? I have no idea. See, this is why I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup tutorial girl. I'm really debating whether I should use the shine or not and I'm really scared because this looks really pretty how it looks. 
I mean, my dress is blue. My dress has like pink and blue. So we're gonna use like a little bit of the pink right here on this like little champagne color. Oh, it's a pretty pink actually. Okay, I like it. Never mind. Okay, so I added a little bit of pink on this side, just a tiny, tiny bit, and just to add like a little bit of shine. You can never go wrong with a little bit of shine. And I kind of left this area like out of it. I just kind of did the inner corners with the pink. So, okay, now I figured out. I really like how this eye looks and this one's okay. So I'm actually gonna take some of it off, some of the pink off on this side. And just leave it mostly in the inner corners. I'm gonna go in, blend it, blend it, blend it. Eyeshadow's done. I'm gonna go in with the same palette that I had before and I'm just gonna go in with the shade right here. This one right here before the black. And I'm just gonna get in there. Blend it, blend it, blend it until it becomes a pretty liner. You can go upwards. And I use it very lightly towards the top. And then a little bit harder. This is how my liner looks. Just like a softer liner, but it's still pretty like dramatic in a way. The contour of the eyeshadow, it just helps it also lift up your eyes and stuff like that. You don't need to use liner at all. Like you can literally just go like this and it'll look, still look amazing. But I wanted to do some liner. Okay, so now that the eyeliner is done, I usually add my inner corner liner if I do want to add it at the end because my eyes get really f***ing teary. So I'll do that towards the end. Now that the powder has basically been sitting for a while, we're just going to press it into the skin. I actually leave this on until the very end as well. So I'm going to keep that on and then I'm going to use my blush. Give Me Sun by MAC. It's the best blush ever. I love this blush. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And you just wanna go in little circles. This is what I usually do. I've honestly been using this bronzer for a really, really long time. And put some on my chin. Put some on my ears. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna go in with my blush, and this is my favorite blush so far. This is the Dior Rosy Glow. This I've been using for like a year now, and it looks really, really pink, as you can see, but when once you press it into your skin, it actually basically goes with your skin color, and it'll like adjust to your skin color to match your complexion just nicely. I know it looks super pink. I'm telling you, it's such a good blush. Again, upward motion with that. And I do put a lot of blush on at the beginning because I'm telling you, blush is the first thing that disappears from your face. So I do put a lot of it on. So I might look a little crazy, but trust me, it's going to go away. Like I'm telling you, once your face starts sitting, it literally disappears from your face and you don't, you're like, where the f is my blush? If you don't, if you just put a little bit, it's going to go away. Trust me. Put a little bit on my nose, chin, forehead. Ba boom. I'm going to go in lightly on my nose contour with this Dior bronzer. And this is the number four neutral. And this I just go really just super lightly on. Very lightly. It's just to basically keep my contour on. Go with the V at the bottom. Like this. That just basically keeps it on. That's all it is. Okay, we're gonna add some mascara at the bottom of my lashes. And I use this YSL, like, it's called the Shock. The best mascara ever, I'm telling you. I'm gonna add a little bit on my actual extensions because they look a little dusty. They look a little dusty. And I don't add anything on my under eye usually ever. Unless I'm going for a really dark look, then I will. But not today. We're gonna do lips now. My lip combo, I'm telling you guys, 
can never ever ever go wrong so it's cork stripped down and chestnut i know chestnut sounds very intense but trust me it's not and then the lip colors that i use are the kkw in the 1.5 nude and the one nude first things first is stripped down so obviously this is our mac i know they've sh they, they like change their coloring a little bit but i don't know if i have the old version or the new version i don't know but they have it changed stripped down a little bit and this is basically to contour your lips like you can overline with this shade and you'll be fine so now that that is done with the strip down you're gonna go with cork i was going with cork cork is like one of my favorite ones you just shade it in I go in a little area right here. A little thin line is good. The top. And this I usually like shade it in. It's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna go in with a 1.5 shade in the KKW nude lipsticks. Dye it on here. It's almost like a peachy color, which I really like. It's just like not too, too nude where it's like almost white. And I don't like that. Now, I usually go in with my finger or a brush, whatever you want. I blend it. It should look like this. And then chestnut is really, really, you just have to go in with it really, really lightly. I just go in this area right here, the top. The edge is like right here. And the other edge. And the very bottom. So now that that is done, you're gonna go in with the shade one. This, you're only gonna go in the middle, like this. I got. And you're gonna blend it again with your finger. And it looks silly, but. It works. I then go back with my strip down and just blend everything in. So that is usually it for my lips and then I'll just use some concealer to clean it up or whatever. I'm gonna just conceal it. And just clean up like any areas or anything. Okay, perfect. Now that that is done, my lips, I'm just gonna dust off the powder that I had on my face. This is the last, the last thing that I do ever. I grab my Laura Mercier and this is the number one and this is usually, it's the secret brightening powder. But I go in with my tiny little, little beauty blender. It's dry, by the way. And I go again on my nose area right here. And then I'll drag it into the under eye area. So I'll do that on both sides. So my camera died, sorry about that. Um, it literally ended with me looking like this. I put it right here and then like a little bit under my eyes, I dragged it just a tiny bit again, once again, upwards like this. This is just really where you wanna brighten up your areas. This is why I do it at the very end. Brighten that area up. I won't use highlighter, I hate highlighter, but this is how I kind of contour and like highlight my nose. So go down and then the little dot here. Boom, 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 boom. And then sometimes I'll put some powder like right here to highlight that area. So this is how I look like for a little bit. Sometimes I'll even get dressed or I'll do my hair, you don't really need to keep it on for that long. I just go with a brush. Boom, boom, boom. So as you can see, I still have some powder on my nose. And then if I usually feel like I have like super harsh lines on my face, I'll just go in with my bronzer brush and I'll like blend it in. But I think right now it's okay. And I'll just kind of blend it in. So yeah, basically that is how I do my makeup. You can definitely wear this to a party, a holiday party, your Christmas, New Year's, definitely New Year's because I feel like 
Well, I'll add a little bit of pink because I love the pop of pink and my dress is a little bit pink. So I feel like you can still do this eyeshadow and then just add a little bit of shine and add whatever color your dress is or whatever it is. Or you don't have to use shine at all. Um, I just used a little bit just because I think it's like a cute little touch. And then if you do want to add some um, inner corner liner, you can. But I think I actually really like it like this. Like, I feel like I don't really need it. So I'm actually going to leave it like this. I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be wearing. So we're basically all done. I'm going to keep my hair pinned up right now. So it's just out of the way. Now this is the final makeup look. Ah. I'm going to show you guys what I have laid out for my outfit. So this is my outfit that I have laid out. Um... I feel like it's very much wedding vibes. I like it. These are just vintage Amelia Pucci. I love how they just shine. They're really pretty. And then this is a vintage Prada dress. I feel like it's very much wedding-like. And I have my little Judith Cleaver with some jewelry right here. I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you guys. So I have my dress on. And I kind of fixed my hair a little bit. I love it. It's so cute. And this is my dress. I love it. Okay, so I'm actually going to call my brother to basically approve of my outfit because he's the one that picks out my outfits and like puts them together. So I just need his any like last minute approval or changes or anything like that. So I'm going to call him and like make sure all the accessories are fine. Oh my God! Do you like it? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. But I was just calling you to basically approve my accessories. You look stunning. Stunning. Wow. Are you? You're joking. I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that extra. Yeah. And then this is like pink, and then like my rings are pink and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, You're I'm gonna. Past belly. Okay, I'm gonna put it all on, and I'm gonna call you afterwards. All right. Okay. So now I have my shoes on, as you can see. I have my little ring. It's like this pink little heart. Cute. Or should I put it on the other hand? Plot twist. I've been engaged. <laughs> I'm gonna put in my little earrings right here. How cute are they? <laughs> I mean, my ear on this side is hella droopy. I used to wear these huge, huge bamboo earrings when I was in, like, all throughout middle school. I literally wore them every single day. And that's why my ear got so messed up. But, you know, I wanted to be extra, so. And then I did wear them in middle school. And then in ninth grade, I, like, started, like, being like, oh, shit, I need to stop. I'm going with this pink necklace that I was iffy about, but I called my brother and he said he's like, yeah, I like it. So it always just makes me feel better when I have his opinion on something, especially when it comes to like outfits and stuff. These are my rings right here. They're pink. They kind of go with my pink necklace. And then I have the blue earring. So. so this is the final look. Very just like glammy and I feel like this hair definitely is like a glam vibes New Year's vibes You can definitely do this updo and like it's super easy It's just like a half a pep down with a little updo and then your bangs and curl at the bottom and then some cute little jewelry And I feel like the makeup is really pretty too Like honestly, you can wear this makeup like on an everyday basis and you can also wear the same makeup with like red lips I just for some reason I cannot pull off red lipstick. I've tried so many times. It just doesn't work If you can pull it off then I I definitely feel like you should do it. But then final touches Perfume and my favorite perfume right now is silver mountain water. It's by Creed It just smells so fresh and like clean. I love that smell. All right guys So now we have all my earrings and everything and then one last thing is my JBW watch that honestly goes with everything It matches my jewelry perfectly and it just goes with the vibe. It's so pretty and elegant It has like all these pretty little diamonds on them. So cute. I'm gonna put it on I have my JBW watch and I posted some of the information at the very front of the video where I'll Obviously, I didn't look this cute, but I feel like it goes with anything. And it's just such an elegant piece that you can honestly wear it. So classic. Such an investment, honestly, too. So it just looks so pretty. So this is the full outfit. Uh, I'm just bringing the jacket just in case I need it. But these are my shoes and then my dress. Ignore the jacket. I'm just wearing it because it's kind of cold right now. But this is the full outfit. 
can't wait to see the bride and the groom. Super excited for them and see you guys next time.